Hello, my name is Catherine Mottram and I'm course lead for geology here at the University of Portsmouth. I'm an expert in Himalayan geology, so I've been out into the field to collect data and look at rocks out in places like India and Nepal. Back in the lab here at the University of Portsmouth, I get my students to build their own mini Himalayan mountain belts. So this is one of the examples of the practical hands-on laboratory classes that we do. We build up layers of sand similar to the sedimentation of rocks which happens on earth today and then we squash them mimicking those large-scale plate tectonic forces. That forms faults which are key breaks in the earth's crust. These are the structures that earthquakes happen on so it's important to study faults for understanding seismic hazards on earth as well as that they're important pathways for fluid in the crust such as water, oil and gas or metal bearing fluids. So when our students understand faults they can apply it to a whole range of different industries in the future. For a geologist, being able to learn about the theory of rocks and plate tectonics, to be able to do experiments in the lab, and then to be able to go out into the field to apply their knowledge means that they have this fully rounded and unique set of skills that makes them ideally placed for the workplace. And now I'm going to pass you over to my colleague Dean. Hello, my name is Dean Bullen. I'm Senior Lecturer in Mineralogy and what we're going to do in this little talk here is just run through one or two minerals that are involved in or used in the manufacture of electronic devices, anything from a mobile phone upwards to electric cars, your LED TVs, even wind turbines. For example, ores of copper, some more brightly coloured than others, as you can see here, the end product being this wonderful ginger coloured metal. They form the electronic circuitry, but sometimes we can extract silver from uh, other ores, which is also used in the circuitry. Um, the screen contains indium, which is extracted from an ore of zinc, sphalerite. We can power the entire unit with lithium, so an example of a lithium mica here, and lithium colours minerals this lilac to pink colour, so it's very, very distinctive. We use tantalum for resistors, not just in mobile phones, but throughout the electronics industry. We need geologists to be able to identify, recognize these minerals, recognize some of the rocks that lead, lead us towards them, the altered rocks, pointers, and help us with this sustainable future. Now I'll hand you over to Dr. James Darling, who's going to talk to you about some of the facilities you may use as a geology student here. Hello, so my name's Dr. James Darling, and I teach mostly on the BSc Geology program, but I also teach analytical skills and field skills to students across the school. One of the wonderful things about geology is that all of the samples that we work on, be they rocks, soils, water samples, or other natural materials, contain a wealth of information about the natural world. Uh, so the labs behind me are some of the examples of the wonderful facilities that we have here in the school. Um, they include equipment that allows us to do very high magnification microscopy, to measure the chemistry of samples, and to look at the mineralogical makeup of different materials. Uh, and that kind of analysis has applications across a very wide range of geological industries and uh, research. Currently on the scanning electron microscope behind me, we're looking at a Martian meteorite. We're able to study its chemistry and its makeup uh, to understand a lot about the planet and how it has evolved through time and how it compares to the Earth. So as students uh, at the University of Portsmouth, you will be trained in how to design projects using this equipment and how to interpret data coming from these latest uh, analytical techniques. And this will really set you up for a wide range of career pathways, be it research into earth sciences or very applied kind of fields like mineral exploration, environmental sciences, uh, land remediation and allow you to apply project design and the latest experimental equipment to a wide range of fields across earth science disciplines. And now I'm going to pass you over to my colleague Dr Catherine Mottram who's going to tell you more about the geology programme more generally and the importance of geology in modern society. Now is a fantastic time to be a geologist because geologists are going to be in increasing need as we transition to a green economy. Many countries are transitioning to using renewable energy sources in order to reduce net carbon emissions. 
These renewable energies like wind turbines or photovoltaic cells or electric cars all require non-renewable materials, so earth materials that ultimately have to be mined from the rocks beneath our feet. Geologists are responsible for locating and sustainably managing these resources. Geologists are also really important for planning the, both the above ground and below ground of our future cities. So many of our undergraduates from the University of Portsmouth go on to work in engineering geology fields. So they're going out and working on big scale infrastructure projects such as HS2. We also have opportunities for undergraduate students to do placements such as a sandwich year in industry. I mainly went on it because I wanted to gain real life experience that then would be transferable um, for employment after university. I had quite a lot of responsibility. The major projects that everyone would know is uh, the grand investigation for Sizewell Power Station C and the HS2 uh, railway uh, grand investigation. I was in charge of project managing my own mini jobs, so I went from communicating with the um, client to then setting up the job project managing the job and being in charge of logging on site. I've learned so many valuable skills both in geology, engineering geology and also like the business side of um, companies. The facilities here at the University of Portsmouth are great. This is my favourite room of the university, the petrology lab. The microscopes have allowed us to study minerals in depth which we've then been able to use um, in the field. I'd highly recommend studying geology at the University of Portsmouth. I chose this university out of other ones because the how friendly the staff are and the amount of practical work that we do and the amount of field work. Like, it's not just if you want an office job, geology isn't what you want to do, but if you don't want to be in the office every day and you don't want to be just in the classroom every day and you want to be outside and doing practical things, definitely, definitely do geology. <laughs> a geology degree will prepare you for an exciting and varied career with a whole lot of possibilities for protecting the planet, managing our natural resources, planning for our infrastructure in future cities, travelling and seeing the world and building a greener and more sustainable future.